welcome to Atkins Diet in the Kitchen. My name is Ken Altena, and in this week's episode, we're just going to see what Thanksgiving prep looks like in the Altena household. I'll take you through some of the main dishes and side dishes that we're making for Thanksgiving. And even though it's the day after Thanksgiving here, I'm having my big Thanksgiving uh, dinner with my wife's family uh, tomorrow. So come along with me as we see what low-carb Thanksgiving looks like. So in this uh, cooler, you'll see my spatchcock turkey. And the reason I spatchcock a turkey and also brine the turkey is one, to make sure that it's moist and juiced, and two, so that it cooks in about a fourth the time. So this 20 pound bird should cook in about two hours. Uh, obviously bringing it to 160, might not look the greatest now, but check it out tomorrow and you'll see a, a, a golden brown and delicious bird. As we go to the stove, you'll see my sausage dressing. Uh, being cooked in on the stove. Next to the stove, I have the onions and celery that will go into that, into that, as well as the flats that will be made into flat spread that I'll toast up and then put in also into the dressing. Next to it is my cauliflower that's being made into potatoes tomorrow, and right behind that is my broccoli that's going into broccoli bacon salad. I have recipes for most of these already on my Atkins Diet video page. Um, and then finally, I have the mid scenes of my jalapeno poppers uh, that will be aside as well. So I hope this reaches them in great health. I'll check you out tomorrow as we get closer to the finish line. So welcome back. Today's a big day. I've been prepping a little bit this morning, but everything's about ready to go in the oven, and I thought I'd take you through some of the things as we get closer to the finish line. So come along with me as I show you the spatchcock turkey. So here's the spatchcock turkey. I've cut up the backbone on either side, and then I flipped it over and broke out the center keel bone of the turkey, and then flipped it back over, and then pressed down like you're doing CPR to uh, flay it out. Obviously the reason we're doing this is because this is a 25 pound bird, and it's going to be, um, would have taken about five hours to cook previously. Now we're hoping to take about uh, two hours uh, starting at 425 and then finishing out at 325 until the um, thighs get to be 160. Over here is my mashed cauliflower. Uh, it's cooking in this uh, eight quart uh, stock pot. Uh, it'll, once it gets to be fork tender, we'll take it out and put it in the food processor, add some uh, chicken bouillon, um, cream, butter, and some white pepper to it, and it'll be perfect. Over here is my uh, reheating ham slices that I had um, on Thursday. Right here is my broccoli bacon salad. To this, I'm going to add the bacon that I've chopped up. And I'm gonna make a quick mayo uh, dressing. Add about two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Roughly a fourth to a third of a cup of Splenda or the liquid equivalent. And then I'm gonna mix this up. Because this is Thanksgiving, no one measures for a family meal. So again, these measurements are approximate and obviously to taste. All right, now we add it into the broccoli bacon salad.
and mix thoroughly. We're going to refrigerate this for the next two hours so it gets nice and cool and then it'll be ready to serve. One final dish is the sausage stuffing that we worked on yesterday. We're going to add in the flat spread that I talked about. This is uh, one uh, order of the flat spread. I put the other ones already in. I've toasted this in the oven. And we're simply going to mix it through. And cook it for roughly 20 to 30 minutes in the oven at 350 degrees. All right, I'll show you the finished product when everything gets done cooking and gets ready to be served. I hope you guys looked at the like the glimpse of what does uh, pre-Thanksgiving look like in the Altona household. Uh, appreciate you guys watching. Thanks for everything that you support, and talk to you guys later. Bye.